Hello everyone, Alzeon the Great here. Welcome back to League of Legends Manager on MOBA GM, and I'm proud to say SI Gaming is no longer a team without a win. In the last episode against Aether Wolves, start in third game of the season, we claimed our first win following a carry performance by Angerian and Kirchhoff, as well as Tornado's best game of his rookie career so far. Flipper, everyone had a good game. Everyone had a good game. You can't really complain about anyone. Maybe Sours, but I don't know. 3 2 10 on Gangplank isn't a terrible score. Here's where the standings are right now, I think, in a shocking development. The 207 Shock are the best team in the league right now with Spin C Rap, NYT, Amanatsu, and Cowboy. Here are your league leaders. As of right now, Spincy leads the league and kills 7.7 a game. Rusty has a 22 KDA on Paladin, so he's still really good. Cowboy leads the league in assists, and Amanatsu holds the CS record. So despite getting our first win, we do not have any record holders at the moment. Or not record holders, sorry. statistical standouts, I guess, it'd be at the moment. Yeah, the best KDA on the team so far, and the best player on the team so far, has definitely been Angerian. He has, you know, stepped it up. I mean, last year wasn't that good. Played in all the games, because I didn't want to put another jungler in. But hey. He's, you know, so far, so we're only three games in, you know, definitely can change, especially with the course of this episode. But three games in may have, you know, depending on how long he stays with him being 28, may have someone to at least keep an eye on in the league. Here are power rankings right now. Your best team in the league still Paladin. Uh, best team based on performance would obviously be 207, but 207 Shock. MMR doesn't matter, and it's not based on overall, it is Paladin. But, obviously Paladin, not at the top. You know, they sit 2-1, and one, right? Yep, 2-1. and one. So let's get going with the season today. Let's see. Today, we have Jade Crown, Excalibur, Crimson Moon, and the Silver Dragons on the list, as well as the Imperium Aces. Let's try and uh, keep this, you know, win streak going. I'm going to draft here against Jade Crown. And basically just draft until we lose. And if I draft five games in this episode and we win, then hey, SI Gaming is a different team. Well, let's take a look at the 2 and one Jade Crown Gaming. Obviously Type 0 in the top lane, my personal favorite player in the league, Speedy SS Sanders Friesen. Bomb in the mid lane and their uh, bot lane, which is their major or their main strength, I should say, with Teratus uh, being brought in this offseason. And Solitech, you know, still staying on the roster from last year. Everyone expires in 2022. 2022 is going to be a wild year. <laughs> you know, when it comes to the development of players. But yeah, Jade Crown, so far they're 2-1. Best player in terms of KDA has been Type 0. And then that's obviously Teratus. So, let's see how we can do against them. They have... Beaten Aether Wolves and Crystal, but lost to Quantum for their first loss. Uh, right there. <laughs> so, coach options, not gonna change anything. I loved it. <laughs> you know, my strategy for the first year and two games stay away from Kirchhoff. Let's go to Sun, or not Sun, let's see. Yeah, Chris, Chris the Moon. Let's stay away from Kirchhoff and just let him be the island, but now we're gonna try and carry with him. At least that's the plan. We're red side today, unfortunately, we won't get the chance to get Lucian once again. But still, let's see if we can see if I can draft confidently. Let's see if we can get our second win. But obviously, I have to draft first, so I will be back in a moment. So, interesting draft to uh, come out. I banned Blitzcrank Camille Renekton. And they banned Lucianar Karma. 
And what I didn't realize was that Anivia was still left up. I uh, haven't played this in a few days, obviously. I don't record, or I usually don't record multiple uh, things in one session. Multiple episodes in one session, but yeah, I didn't realize Anivia was up. Now, it was actually okay, you know, after the fact that I freaked out for about two seconds. Azir counters Anivia, and Azir is the third best mid laner in the batch right now. So, wasn't a terrible pick for, for them. We picked Senna, they picked Olaf Sona. Sona counters Senna. So I picked Alistar, which means Senna's our AD carry. Uh, and Bandaw AD carries Ash and Ezreal. They were the, basically the next best AD carries on the list. Then I picked Aatrox after they banned Kindred and Fiddlesticks. I picked Aatrox uh, into the Olaf, because the only thing that countered Olaf was Master Yi, and Master Yi is uh, not good. <laughs> They, in response, picked Varus Nunu, which I responded Graves, and I would have gone Master Yi, but this is, you know, about the meta. Master Yi is a 4 in the jungle right now, and I don't like that. So, I think it's a decent draft. Let's see if we win. We do not. We lose to Jade Crown Gaming. Type Zero's Olaf destroyed Sours. Aatrox, unfortunate. Kirchhoff actually did pretty good on Azir, you know, 3-2-1, but not terrible. <laughs> Wasn't terrible. Oh shit, <laughs> excuse me. It was not bad, but I think we could have had a better game. Maybe I need to start going away from the Senna and just wait on our AD carry pick. Then I probably need to stop banning Camille. So our next game is Blue Side, thank god, against Excalibur. So we'll see you after that game. Well, definitely not a good draft this time. It was an intelligent draft by the AI. I banned Camille Draven Fiddlesticks, they banned Anivia of Renek Lucian. And I know, I was at the beginning of the season I said Nar is the more counterpickable of the two. I picked Nar, they instantly locked in Aatrox. Okay, I see that. They also picked Morgana, so I picked Nunu Senna. Nunu, obviously, as we found out last game, not many counters in the jungle. And Senna, because Senna actually counters Morgana. <laughs> uh, then I banned Graves and Jarvan. They banned Jinjao Gragas and picked Trundle. I picked Sivir, because they picked Jin after the Morgana. And Rise, because we just needed a line pick a mid laner, and Rise worked before. But they picked Bran, which somehow counters rise, so big sad. <laughs> Let's see if we win the game though. We lose to Excalibur, and yeah, not a good game. <laughs> Just, we only got one kill, and it was Sours on to Sandy. It looks like the progression was only minimal. Well, <laughs> where am I? Looking? There it is. Schedule. So let's sim two games. Let's get to the Imperium Aces one, and I want to see if we can win again. But yeah, don't want to draft every game here, obviously. So let's sim two. And see how we how it goes. I guess. <laughs> We lose in a close game to Crimson Moon. Uh, yeah, but no real standouts. Angerian, actually, Angerian went 3 1 and 1 on Kindred. So, yeah, Angerian, the yeah, old veteran having a grand old time <laughs> in his. A, what could be his last year? I mean, I don't know, he's 28. But yeah, he's actually doing really well. And let's sim one more game. We lose to the Silver Dragons. As uh, Tornado went off on Jinx, but couldn't carry the team as Exceller. Destroyed him on Ash. Or destroyed the game on Ash, I guess, not destroyed him. Sours on Trundle didn't do so hot, and Jirion didn't do it uh, either. Yeah, we just. For that first win? Yep. Find another one. Unfortunately for us. 
And the last game I'm going to draft for today is the 1 in 6 Imperium Aces on red side. So we're on blue side again. And we're facing the. Uh, or they're facing obviously us. So. Let's see if I can get Lucian this time. I think that's our key, Lucian. But we'll see if we can get him this time. Needless to say, I am confident. To start off, we banned out Anivia, Camille, and Nar. They responded with Lucian, Karma, and Midley. And I was kind of sitting there like, okay, last time one of the top laners was left open, it was Nar, and I got counter. Renekton doesn't really have too many good counter picks in the meta. So I was just like, you know what? Screw it. We're 1 in 6. It can't get much worse. So I picked Renekton. They picked Gangplank and Trundle. I just picked Nunu, since Nunu is like the best jungler without counter picks available. And I know I said, you know, save your, my AD carry pick for later and not go, and go away from Senna, but honestly, it's just too valuable to have, you know, Senna down in that bot lane, but nobody knows where until, you know, the end of the draft or until I draft another thing to go in the bot lane. It was just too valuable to me. And they picked Tarek in response, which was perfect because it doesn't counter Senna. And then coming out of this, I was thinking, Anivia's gone, so is Lucian. The next best mid laner is Azir. So I went to work. I banned Morgana and Kiana. They banned Kastin and Vladimir and took Twisted Fate. And I and I just went, all right then. I grabbed Azir, looked at the tier list. Janna counters uh, Tarek and is high on the list. I picked Janna to be the support because there's not many AD carries that can counter Senna and Jin was that pick for them. So I think we can beat the Imperium Aces here. Hopefully. Oh come on, we lose. 1 in 6 sours on Renekton and Zirian with 0 in 6 on Noon. That was the best draft today and we still got smashed. One kill. Well, no, actually not one kill. Three kills. But, uh... Yep, yeah, it's just... Maybe I should have paid more. Maybe I should have gone to the player thing and paid more attention to Tom. But, we lose. Here are the standings. After eight weeks of the regular season, Crystal sits as the new first place team at six and two. We sit all the way at the bottom with Aether Wolves at 1 and 7. SI is still not a good team, but we gotta win! But yeah, right now, still far away from contending, it seems, with SI. Here's our roster right now. Sour's a .9 KDA. Just honestly has not done good this season. And you know what? For next episode, Bixie will make uh, his SI Gaming debut. But that is for next episode. I'm not going to hype it up too much as of right now. Here are your league leaders. Data Fuse is taking over the kills lead with 5.6. Young leads the league in assists. And I'm not happy to see that. Because if you look at Young, I'll get this caliber. Cieza is much higher rated than Young, and he's not playing. He didn't even play the game that I put him in for. I, before the uh, episode started, I went through and made sure everyone had the highest rated players starting. But no, we want to start the Young gun. That's player rated. Sander leads the league in CS for Southern Imperative. Well, Rusty leads the league in KDA at 8.5. Dulsock also sits at 8.4. Next best player is Death on Crystals at 6.4. So Rusty and Dulsock making their cases known for MVP. But that will be it for today.
Thank you all for watching. I'm Great to see all of you later.